I see a lot of people asking about Spotify. Mm. Spotify is coming to Horizon 4? Uh, Spotify is not... Uh, or coming. is one of the radio stations? Is that... Uh, no, no. So in, in Forza Horizon 3, we had... Um, we Your had groove. Groove music, yeah. right. Uh, but, uh, you know, as everybody probably knows, groove music uh, has, been, has been sunset. Yep. Um, so, uh, you know, we, we don't have that in, in uh, Forza Horizon 4. Um, we, uh, as far as radio stations are concerned, um, you know, stay tuned on that. Um, you know, we'll have more to share on, on yep. radio stations. I noticed there were some cool ones in there. There was Pulse's back. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's a couple that we can cycle through, I think. But um, yeah, there'll be a, there'll be a full song list. Yeah, yeah. We uh, so we've got uh, we've got a bunch of uh, stuff returning with regard to the radio stations. Um, you know, the, uh, the 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 mix of, of genres is something that that um, you know players really appreciated. You know, having a, a, a bit of bit there for everybody. And in fact, a lot of players actually swap between different radio stations and listen yeah. to, to different. Uh, music depending on their mood for the day, you know, and uh, you know, believe it or not, our, our timeless uh, radio station, the, the classical yep. music one, it gets a lot of play. I, I'm not surprised, honestly. <laughs> yeah. I know a lot of people who love it. Yeah. Um, I'm seeing people asking about mini games. Sure. <laughs> Obviously, we had um, King Infection, uh, Tag, uh, Capture the Flag. Mm hmm. Is there any new stuff coming with, with mini games? Uh, stay tuned on that one. Okay. Mini games are always super, super cool. <laughs> totally. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're a blast. I would imagine. I, I love those modes. Oh, I, yeah. I really do. I, I, I sort of started to create my own sort of things, and people really enjoy them, and it's just like, oh, yeah, there's so yeah, much yeah. potential for very cool stuff. That's right. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it's, it's really fun, uh, you know, playing on, on, on uh, those small maps and, yep. and being able to, to kind of, like, use the the uh the environment to you know yep. pull off crazy stuff uh i see some people asking about uh some some more in-depth smaller things they're asking about window stickers and tire letters hmm. so you were able to obviously put tire letters in your car um i would imagine those are going to be returning i i didn't see if the mclaren senna had the tire letters but we um as far as uh you know lettering and and uh you know stickers and stuff yep. like that uh you know hang out for that one uh, I, I don't have any any details to, to share today with regard to you know how what sort of uh, customization uh, options player players will have in that regard but uh, we'll, we'll be able to share that soon yeah actually going back to the car list there yeah. were uh, some cool things that I spotted oh yeah in the car list yeah some cool things that haven't technically been announced by you guys or seen in other things but I noticed uh, there was a little R34 uh, GTR in there there was uh -huh. Polaris, buggy, right? And I mean, yeah, there's uh, we have more stuff on the website, but uh, yeah, there's a there's a lot of cool cars coming to the game. You know, it's it, I I've got to hand it to to uh, the community yep. who who watches these videos because, you know, I, I I've seen like they will they will just catch a fraction of a second yep. of a car like the the rear quarter panel of a car. Yep. And uh, they will correctly name whatever that car is. Definitely. It, it's it's pretty amazing. Actually, one thing while we're out here, I'm going to slow yeah, down. Sure. Uh, the off-roading in this game is just insane. Oh, you noticed that. Yeah, like, so we, uh, we, oh. we revamped it. So there, there's, uh, there, there, there are a lot of uh, differences that, that have been um, introduced in Forza Horizon 4 to make the off-roading experience even better. Yeah. You know, we, we felt as though we had to do that because um, the, the world this time in, in the UK, it, it's, uh, it's actually the, the, the most vertical world we've we've created to date yeah i don't know? think a lot of people realize that like there's this little hill in front of us yeah there you can go oh yeah go over that like that's i right. noticed uh there's some big stuff basically everywhere right and that's right you're able to go go where you want absolutely you know and those are those are not walled off you know you you can you can climb them um i don't know if you uh you spotted this in the uh the announced trailer yep uh, at e3 but there's there's actually a part in that where Several cars go cresting over a, 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 uh, a mountain top. Yep. And um, yeah, that's that's high up there. <laughs> yeah. No, I noticed there was some cool mud physics as well as as yeah. as weird as that sounds. There yeah. are mud physics. Yeah. In in the game. That's right. Yeah. We um we have deformable mud in, in the game. Yeah. So, so it's like if you've played games like spin tires or or exactly. things like that, there you can you can crush the mud like you can with the snow. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. It, it's uh. 
it's actually, you know, it, first off, it, it just makes the world feel more immersive. Yeah. You know, because it, it's behaving the way that you would expect. But, uh, but beyond that, you know, it's just a lot of fun. It really oh, is. Oh, yeah. Totally. Uh, one of the other things I noticed while, while playing around here, that's why I'm st sticking around here. Um, <laughs> One of the, it's, it's crazy, like, the grip difference. I don't think a lot of people realize it. When they, when they get the chance to play it themselves, they'll, they'll notice. But the grip on the snow, I'm completely fine. I'm all good. Got my snow tires. I can deal right. with that. But then as soon as I come, like, onto the ice, mm -hmm. it's a completely different world. It's That's like, right. I've got traction control on, and the tires are just spinning like mad. That's right, yeah. You know, um, one of the, the, the cool things about uh, snow and just seasons in general is that it, it not only changes the, the visuals, but it, it changes the gameplay, you know? Yeah. So, um, so as you drive around on, on uh, various surfaces uh, through the different seasons, uh, the, the world is going to feel different to you, yeah. you know? You're, you're going to have to, to master driving in that, that season. Um, there's actually uh, some, a lot of work that's been uh, done to um, model out the uh, thermal conduct conductivity uh, of different surface types yep. across different seasons. So, um, you know, it's it's we in the game we have I don't remember the the exact count, but you know, hundreds of different surface types. Oh yeah, there's there was a lot. That's it right. was a high number. I was told yeah. yesterday. I was like, oh. that, that's right. And and uh, each one of them actually has uh, those, those thermal properties applied to yep. it. And you know, as you you uh, drive through different seasons, it your car is going to behave differently. And, and so, you know, it just makes it feel, um, you know, more true to life, which I, I think a lot of players appreciate. Oh yeah, 100%. It, it, it's, it's very cool, like coming through here and physically feeling different grip. It's something that we didn't really experience that much in, in Horizon 3, but when Forza yeah. 7 came out, that was the first thing I noticed. I'm like, when you light the tires up, you're, you have no grip. Yeah, you, your tires right. are on fire, you're, yeah. you're, you're not gonna be able to turn, you're not gonna be able to do anything. Right. And it's carried over to, to this game as well. And if you light your tires up, you're gone. Right, right. Good luck. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, it's really, really cool. Let's see what, uh, what other people are asking. Um, how will the properties work? I spoke about it a little, oh, bit, yeah. um, a little bit yesterday. There are 10 houses uh, coming to the game and you'll be able to purchase those as you, as you go through the story. Mm -hmm. um, and they're gonna act like mini festival sites. Oh God, oh no. <laughs> Yeah, so um, houses. I, I'm really excited that, that we yep. uh, were, were finally able to, to bring houses to the game. You know, uh, that that's another feature that our players have been asking for. They when they drive around the world and they, they see a, 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 a house that they like, um, you know, that they want to buy it. They they want to, to have it as their own and, and uh, you know get some have have uh, a, an opportunity to, to kind of like use that to stage their car. Um, in Forza Horizon 4, we're, we did add in uh, the option to, to buy player houses. There's going to be many houses throughout the world uh, for, for players to discover and, and, uh, and buy if they want. Yep. Uh, and, you know, they, they really run the spectrum. It, it's, uh, it, it's everything from little cottages up to castles. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> so, I noticed some of them, they're yeah. very cool. That's right. And so um, by buying a, a, a property, uh, you do get to, to uh, you know, park your car there and, and use it as a, a little uh, mini festival site, yep. like you had mentioned. Um, but, uh, but you also have uh, the, the ability to, to, you know, take a look at your car in, in that beautiful setting and, yep. and uh, you know, take a, a photo of it if you like. It's very cool. Uh, the other thing that's actually pur uh, purchasable is the businesses. You can, you can own a taxi company. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it, it's... Uh, you know, the, the, um, in, in the game, you, you have uh, the, the ability to, to purchase uh, different things, to your point, businesses, and, uh, and they unlock gameplay. You know, um, the, uh, the, the taxi service one, I think it's fantastic. Yeah, you know, it, there's, super cool. There's some really fun narrative around it. You know, you, you, oh. um, you uh, have the, uh, it, you can go off and, and uh, run, your, run the taxi service. Um, you know, I, I, I think uh, I think it'll be really fun uh, going off and doing the missions that it gives you. Yep. You know, it, it's uh, I, I think a lot of players are going to have a blast with it. There were some other things as well, like movie stunt drivers. That's right. Documentary yep. filmmaker. Yeah, or documentary yeah. Documentary film driver. You know, <laughs> uh, I, I think a lot of players just wanted to have um, you know some some little kind of like you know narrative based 
things to do, some some uh, some stories to go off and and uh, run through, and yep. and uh, you know a, a good way to think about it is you know imagine bucket list if it was like a thousand times better, right? It, it's like I, players love bucket lists. Yep. You know, they have a blast doing them, and they had like you know some narrative wrapped around them, right? With uh, with things like um, you know the the uh, the taxi service and and stuntman uh, stories that you had mentioned. Um, you know, it, it's uh, it, it's more to do uh, yep. that that uh, kind of has you know a bit more purpose to it, which uh, I think is a, a ton of fun. Totally. One of the things I'm I'm noticing as we're just driving through here slowly this time mm -hmm. um, is just like take a look at the map in the bottom left. Yeah. You can see those crazy roads. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, we've got straightaways, we've got uh, uh, twisty bits. Yeah. Uh, you know, jumps all over the place. It, it's, uh, you know, it's it is a a, a playground throughout the world. Yeah, you've got a little <laughs> bit of everything That's for right. someone. Yeah, right. Absolutely. Very cool. You know, one other thing I, I should mention about uh, player houses is oh no, uh, <laughs> purchasing uh, player houses uh, can also unlock perks. Okay, so yeah, I heard about that because previously you've had these perks that you uh, you buy with what, what was the what uh, was the, the, the skill research? points? Skill points. Yep. Um, and those are those are returning, mm -hmm. but you're also able to unlock further ones if mm -hmm. you own houses. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, certain houses are, are going to give you uh, additional perks throughout the world. Um, you know, so uh, I, I think you know once players discover which houses do that, they'll run off and get them. Yep. <laughs> and these houses are physically going to cost money in the game. They're going to have to. Yeah, that's to buy right. Them. Yep. Yep. You uh, you have to earn credits to, uh, to to be able to purchase those properties, and uh, you know different houses are going to carry different prices. As you can imagine, the castle, castle is uh, is a bit on the pricey side. Yep. Yeah. It's going to come with some good views, though. So. There you go. It's, it's worth right. it. Um, <laughs> I see people asking about. Can you buy more than one house? Yeah. Yes. You can. You can own all. all you, ten of them. you can open. You can own all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are there roads with two lanes? Um, so there's actually a lot of different road types in this game mm -hmm. that I've noticed. There, there's big, huge highways that you can you can drive on and have fun with. Mm -hmm. But there's also the more narrow stuff that I think a lot of people think mm -hmm. of the UK of having. Yeah, um, it's pretty cool. Yeah, we have all different kinds of roads. You know, we we have uh, wide roads, uh, narrow roads. We also have uh, dirt roads. Um, you know, it, it it really just runs the the, the gamut. Very cool. Um, People are also asking about drag tires. Mm. So, uh, yeah, nothing to, to really share with regard to the uh, the, the tire customization options. Um, to be honest, I, I, I just don't happen to, I'm not equipped to, to share that right now, yep. so. Okay, uh, people are also asking about a demo. I mean, I think your answer will be- Nothing to announce, stay tuned. Stay tuned. But yep. obviously we've had demos for the previous game, so. Most likely. Um, <laughs> you said it. <laughs> I said it. He didn't say it. Um, people are asking about steering lock from the drift suspension. So drift suspension is obviously going to yeah. be a huge thing uh, coming to both Forza 7 and Horizon 4 uh -huh. um, that I think a lot of maybe maybe my, my viewers are more hyped about than, than anything. Yeah. And people just sort of want to know how it works. How, how are you able to customize your, your steering lock and your drift angle? You know, it's a, it's a really, really good question. Um, and uh, I, I wish I could share the details on it. I, I can't right now, um, but uh, but rest assured that that uh, our our drifting community is going to be really really happy yeah. happy and excited with with what we're we're introducing for that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, last sort of oh. thing, um, we will talk about the different locations in the. Oh, you, <laughs> you just bullied a, <laughs> an Arctic truck. I think that was. Right. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of really cool locations within the world. It's historic Britain. Yeah. Um, so what what sort of does that include? They listed off six different, uh, what, what would you call them, regions? I guess you, I guess you yeah, can say. Yeah, yeah. You know, one of one of the um, the areas that I'm really really excited about is uh, the the, the um, historic city of Edinburgh. Yep. Uh, for those that aren't familiar, that's a uh, a, a, a beautiful city in in Scotland, and. Um, the uh, that that city has a, a lot of a uh, lot of history to it, and and uh, we've got that in the world. You know, we've got um, a, a, an amazing monument, monument, uh, Scott monument, Scott monument um, <laughs> in, in the game. Yep. Um, that uh, you know, players will will inevitably see when they they visit uh, Edinburgh in the game, and uh, you know, it just has um, 
you know, a road network that is unlike anything that our, our players have seen before. You know, the, the, the roads are these ancient roads that kind of crisscross all over the, the, the city. And, um, you know, I, I, think, uh, I think it'll be really cool just kind of like, you know, cruising around and exploring the world and, and just sort of like seeing where the roads take you. Yeah, definitely. One of the things I noticed actually wasn't on that list mm -hmm. was London. Mm -hmm. So is, what's, what's going on with London in, uh, in Horizon 4? Well, uh, I, I, have you ever uh, driven in London? I have. It's, uh, then, then you know the, the driving in London has, uh, you know, something to be desired to yep. a degree. Um, you know, Horizon games are all about um, delivering a, a, a great experience for, for players. Yep. You know, and so uh, the, the team actually spends a bunch of time looking at the region to, to figure out um, what, what and, uh, you know, what will make an, a, an incredible uh, driving experience for them. Yep. And, uh, and so, you know, after having a look at everything, um, the, the, the team felt as though uh, Edinburgh, uh, city of Edinburgh would would offer a, a a more fun city driving experience. Yep. And so um, so that's the the city that that we feature in this one. Okay. So London isn't in there, but Edinburgh's obviously got these really yep. really cool roads. Absolutely. Oh cool. I think that's probably just about our time. Um, is there any final things you would like to to mention? Let people know about. Well, I'll, I'll say, um, you know, just, just to, to wrap up, uh, we could not be more thrilled to uh, have had the opportunity to announce this game oh, yeah. uh, at, a, at the, uh, the, the Xbox conference on Sunday. Yep. Um, we're, uh, we're really excited that uh, players are going to be able to, to play this on October 2nd. And uh, yeah, we, we, we can't wait to, to uh, see what they think. Yeah, pre-orders are open now, so That's right. you, you know what you gotta do, I'm just saying. <laughs> um, but thank you so much for your time. Thank you for dealing yeah. with all of our questions. Absolutely, thanks um, Nick. I'm sure yeah, you've, you've made some people very, very happy. Cool, thank so you. So thank, thank you for coming. Thank you to everybody who came out to the live stream and uh, supported us uh, and asked a bunch of questions. Very yeah, cool. thank you everyone. Cool, thank you guys. See you guys soon.